Hey there guys, Aaron Baker. I'm in Fort Vancouver in Vancouver, Washington, which uh, was the main hub for the Hudson Bay Company here in the Pacific Northwest uh, for their Columbia District and then uh, later on known as the Oregon Country uh, under the uh, Americans perspective of it. And here's the main little office here where a lot of the uh, business was done and uh, mapping and all that. Over here you have a tower, a guard tower. Um, this big building over there is the um, a storage room and there's a couple more of those that was used for uh, storing the furs that were of course what they were here to make a profit off of um, or to trade. And over here is McLaughlin's home and over there is the bakehouse and over here kind of like a hospital and this building over there the blacksmith and you're not seeing it but around the corner over there is a, a wood shop and what we're missing here is more a couple some more buildings you had a catholic church in here um, and you also had um, more fur buildings um, and McLaughlin's house here, very nice inside, very up to scale, uh, classy, very classy, I should say. And in the kitchen, I had a chance to talk with the cook. Hello. How are you doing? Is this your home? The kitchen. The kitchen. Yeah, this is my kitchen. Okay. Yeah, they would feed anywhere from eight to thirty people in there. Make soups and stews and breads and pastries and most of the Soups and stews were one pot, pulled it open fire, and the blacksmiths made us some really neat stuff here to get the cream back and forth so we weren't scalding ourselves. And they made these S hooks to elevate the, the food off the fire. And we'd take these, uh, these uh, tongs and put a uh, fire into the oven, get that going, get it hmm. up 500 degrees to where all the bricks are white, <clears throat> and we can swab it down with this guy, and then uh, we would slide in our, we put our uh, bread on here, slide in these racks at the black piece There you go. Close it down. Close the damper and let it cook for a half hour or so. Cool. You know, and then, uh, or another way of doing breads is what I did today. I uh, I did a Dutch oven. I I put uh, my bread down in the bottom, put the lid off, put it in the fire, and then put the coals up on top. Oh. And then uh, let it uh, bake in there. And for about 35 40 minutes, take it out and get some fresh bread. Okay, so this is the bakehouse. Um, you can see these large ovens here, very cool. So you'd have fire down below there, and then the doors to the oven. And what they were making says so there was a, a baker and up to three assistants who would uh, bake thousands of these. They call it a little. Uh, sea biscuit and it was uh, they would fill these big uh, barrels with them and be able to take them on the ships for overseas travel and they said uh, they were also a trading utensil they uh, trade these with the Russians Very cool. all right so here is the wood shop all 
all hand tools seems they got everything in here and what's amazing they have the uh, blacksmith and the uh, wood shop here and everything on the fort here they still make on site here using the blacksmith and the wood shop so very very primitive yeah it's not very primitive it's nice and durable and you can do something else at home sad thing is it doesn't look much different than my barn oh yeah it does it's clean and nice your barn is okay. big, big thing. All right, so here's inside what they call the counting house, nerve center of company operations for Hudson Bay Company. So I guess you're accountants and all that sort of thing. And looks like bedrooms and everything too. Not much here, pretty small. But uh, call it the office. Maybe some business transactions. And look at this, plotting. Here is... A map of the Oregon Territory, yes. Now this is a, by the U.S. So, because the British wouldn't call it the Oregon Country, they would call it the Columbia District. So this is really inaccurate here. But still very cool. Alright guys, so just got out of the fort there. Um, Unique things, they say it was burnt down in 1866 by a mysterious fire, I'll tell you most likely it was. The US military, because it was a British fort, we we're not real allies with the British at the time. Uh, you had the Pig War, which uh, most likely is why the US uh, rebuilt a fort up here, because I mean we were pretty much at war with the British. And you did have uh, big generals, American generals stationed at a uh, Fort Vancouver up here because in 1849 it was then made a United States uh, Union Fort um, which I'm seeing right in front of me here 1849 and one that comes to mind that was stationed here for a while was a uh, picket General Pickett which actually was a general for the Confederates and he had a uh, Pickett's charge there in Gettysburg um, but he was also involved in a war up here. Um, I believe his hometown was Bellingham, Washington in the old Oregon country um, where he uh, was uh, involved in the pig war against the British. So, it's just strange. We're not getting the full story here. Um, employees don't really realize some things. The reason There was a, a Catholic church inside the Hudson Bay Fort here because what I find is they were all Catholics and so that didn't really go over at the time good with the uh, Americans and like I said when it came down to the vote there in Shampooey um, you know you had your pro-British and you had your pro-Americans and it turns out who your pro-Americans generally were the uh, Protestants but we see that time and time in history again with America um, it, you know, especially the whole American Revolution, the whole uh, Protestant Reformation. Um, so it even has a factor here on the West Coast too of how uh, the U.S. the land become the United became the United States here.